Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. G'day and uh, welcome back to the shop. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the SV four-stroke engine build and today we're going to be working on these little camshaft lobes stuck right in here. Let's isolate one so you can have a look at it. And here's our cam lobe here. Now I've got it open at another window for you and for the purpose of the video I put the cam uh, represented inside the lathe chuck here today. Now this is going to be a mill turn operation. Uh, now it isn't that complicated when you're using a cam software. Now the one I'm using here today is uh, Fusion. So it used to be known as Fusion 360. It's um, the main reason I use it because I'm an educator and I get it for free. So why not? So here's my cam here today. Here's my setup. I'm uh, up here in my setup I'm using today um, number one which is G54. I've identified where's my work coordinate system. And the first thing we're going to do is face the part. Then some OD roughing, OD finishing, some 2D adaptive, a contour, spot drill, drill, and a part off cycle. So let's take a look at that. Let's simulate through this and we'll go through it one at a time. So dropping in here with a CNMG insert and facing off. We'll now come over and rough this part down very close to the cam where it needs to be, the lobe. Drop in with a finishing tool. Back in now with a 12mm Harmony end mill from Sutton Tools. And this will circle and interpolate. Probably a mistake here was not having rest machining turned on and I was cutting air for a little bit at the start there. Here's our contour, 2D contour finish. You'll see I'll do a finishing pass, or commonly referred to as a spring pass. <laughs> spot drill, deep drill with uh, full retract peck drilling turned on and then drop in there with a parting off tool to part off. You'll watch that tool change in a second. Now I was probably a little bit aggressive with the part off. I was feeding it 0.2 per rev I think. Let's just have a quick look at that from memory. And yeah, 0 0.2 millimeters per revolution. I probably could have backed that off a little bit. It was a little bit savage on such a small part. I would like to point out that this is my first time ever running live tooling. 
And um, even though it said the Y axis was there from memory, it wasn't. It was more like a wrap tool path when I post processed it. But we'll have a look. I've got the control up uh, running to give you guys a look. So here are the finished parts that we made on the ST20Y and I'm really, really happy with them. They come out fantastic. I did have to run a ream through them just ever so slightly to clean up that hole. Okay, that one hasn't been done yet, but this one has been done with a ream, with a 12 mil ream. And you have a listen to that. Now it's not bad for a drilled hole when you think about it. So a nice little pop there. And our cam will go up in here in the camshaft. These are 3D printed gears at the moment, just for proof of concept. And uh, we're slowly getting them assembled here. I'm trying to make four here um, as prototypes. So there's our crankshafts from the other week. So everything's coming together real nicely. So thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching. And please uh, feel free to add comments down below. And uh, always remember, like and subscribe and click that bell. Cheers, guys.